you've downloaded a model from the internet and you're expecting this but you get this instead good luck trying to fill that bowl this is where you want to use spiral vase mode spiral vase mode also known as spiralized outer contour is a slicing technique where your printer creates a single continuous spiral layer no changes no seams just one smooth motion from bottom to top it's perfect for decorative prints like vases lampshades or anything that doesn't need infill or top layers now before we dive into creality print I want to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Bring your ideas to life with PCB Way's 3D printing services. Upload your design in seconds and choose from a wide range of premium and exotic filaments. Whether it's custom PCBs or high quality 3D prints, PCB Way delivers precision, innovation, and reliability. Start your next project today at PCBWay.com. Okay, so I have Creality Print 6 opened up. And I loaded up a model. Now, when you're selecting your model, you're going to want something that's relatively simple, an upright shape, cylindrical, or smooth curves work best. I'll be using this candy dish modeled by Creative Tools I found on Thingiverse. I found this years ago. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this and our print settings. So we're going to go over to Strength. I have two walls. Uh, my infill is by default 15%. That grid, leave it go because we're not really going to do a lot with that. Um, my top layers, I have five of those. So everything's the way it comes out of the box, for lack of a better term. And we slice this up and we're looking at this. What we would expect solid model, not much of a bowl. But this is where the magic comes in. Let's jump back over to our settings. We're going to leave everything as it is. And we're going to come down here to the other section uh, under our processes. It looks like the four-leaf clover. I don't know what that really is, but to me, it's the four-leaf clover. Go ahead and give that a click. And we're going to come down under special mode. And about halfway down that list, you'll find sp spiral vase mode. Go ahead and give that a click and we get this message telling us that it's going to uh, set our walls to one. It's going to disable any support. It's going to set our top layers to zero. Our infill is going to be set to zero and time lapse type is traditional. No idea why it would mess with the time lapse, but uh, we can go ahead and if we hit no, well, nothing happens. Let's go back and check it. And we'll click yes. And now when we go back and check under our strength, you notice that we're at one wall loop, zero top layers, uh, zero infill. The ports are turned off too, which are we're already off. But let's slice this and take a look at it. And now you can see what we have going on here. It's just a single wall. And what you'll also notice is the lack of a Z seam. Because it's one continuous spiral. It just keeps going around and around and around. Uh, laying filament on top of the previous layer. Doesn't stop until it's done. So let's go ahead and send this to the printer and we'll take a look at what we got. Here's the final result. Smooth walls, no seams, and minimal stringing. Actually, I'm not seeing any stringing. It looks, it looks really good. And it did take only half the time of a standard print with infill. Now, a few quick tips. Use the model designed for vase mode. You want to avoid overhangs. And stick to materials with good layer adhesion like PLA or uh, PETG if possible. 
Okay, so that was pretty simple, pretty painless. Um, used to be in the old days, you would have to set that up yourself. Now, here's something I want to show you. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is make a new project. And we're not going to save this. So we know. Definitely don't want to transfer this over. Discard that. And I'm just going to use one of the testing primitives. And I'm going to add a cylinder. Uh, let's change the scale a little bit. Um, go 50 in X, 50 in Y, and 100 in Z. There we go. So just like before, when we slice this, it's going to be a solid, well, not solid, but it'll have top, sides, bottom, and of course, infill. Now, if I, you'll notice we also have a Z seam. So let's go back to prepare and let's try to set this up manually. Go to one wall. Um, top shells will set to zero. Our infill, I'm going to change that to zero. And I don't have support. So let's go ahead and slice this up. See what happens. And you can see we got the same thing. Pretty cool, except you'll notice we have this D seam coming down. Let's go back to prepare and turn everything back to the way it was. We'll go to others and we'll enable spiral vase mode. And we'll accept yes for it to make those same exact changes. Coming back up here, you can see where it's one for the walls, zero for the top, zero for the infill. Now when we slice this, we're back in vase mode. And it looks just like it did before. The exception of there is no Z seam. Pretty cool. Now the minute you try to get fancy and trick this, it's not going to fall for it. If I try to add a second wall loop, it's going to keep throwing that at me. If I keep pushing it and I get my two walls, you can see where it's right back to giving us a Z. Which, by the way, if you wanted to actually set one up manually and it was too flimsy uh, with spiral vase mode, you could use what they call a fake vase mode and something like this where you add an extra wall. But you're going to get the seam and it's not going to be true vase mode. So let's go ahead and I'm going to set this back to the way it was. The quick way is to just reselect my preset. Discard everything. I'm going to go ahead and enable viral vase mode. Hit yes. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll print this one out as well. Okay, so just like before with the bowl, we got smooth walls. There is no seam. I'm not seeing any stringing. It looks great. And again, it took minimal amount of time to print this. So let's take a look at the one printed with two walls and see how that came out. Okay, so we have our finished print with the two walls and you can clearly see the Z seam running up. Now, it takes longer to print this. It doesn't, it does have two walls, but it's not as flimsy. It's still not real tough, whereas with the pure vase mode, you can see how flimsy it is. But uh, for the speed, I like vase mode personally. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And that's it. Spiral vase mode. It's a fun and simple way to get beautiful prints with minimal hassle. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. Smash that bell so you'll be alerted to new content in the future. And if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing.